Hey, this is Philip Ellis, and you are watching the Drum Building 101 video blog. Today I'm going to talk about how to keep your drum wrap seams from coming up over time. First of all, uh, I must confess that this picture you're seeing right now is the second wrapped drum set that I ever did. I probably got a little rushed when I was making it because I wanted to make it by a deadline. And thankfully it was for myself, so it wasn't given to a customer who had to deal with this problem. But anyways, I've just been noticing that my seams are coming up and I've done a little research and the reason why this is happening is probably because when I was gluing it with contact cement, I did not wait long enough for the contact cement to dry. I waited till it was to a tacky consistency and the glue needs to be one it needs to be fully dry before you you try to glue your wrap onto the drum. So there's a, a little tip for you. Don't let your contact cement be wet. Don't let it be tacky, but it must be fully dry before you try to take your shell and your wrap and put them together. So the way we can fix this now without getting back into the messy business of opening up contact cement and you know having the toxic fumes everywhere, uh, we're going to take a little piece of tape and just run it along the line of the seam so you can mask it off and you don't get super glue on any part of the seam that you don't want it. And then uh, just take some Loctite super glue or whatever brand you like, but this is Loctite Professional. What you're going to do is just kind of pry back the seam a little bit and take your super glue and squirt it inside the seam. You want to make sure that you squirt enough super glue in there to where it's going to actually bond to the entire surface and then once the super glue is in there you can just hold that on hold it with your hand uh, hold it down for about 15 or 30 seconds to make sure that it bonds and you can kinda test it and lift up off of it and if it doesn't move then it's bonded and you should be good to go I also just at the very end once it's bonded I take off the tape and I uh, apply just a very thin line of super glue along the seam right there just to make sure that that will never come up and you know it, it's worked great I've played on it since then I've had other people play on it and take it out for gigs and it seems to be working great and there's a finished picture of it also uh, if you want to check out some more drum building tutorials and tips check out makedrums.com these pictures that you see flashing on the screen are actually pictures of all the drums that I cover in the book how to make custom drums and I'll teach you how to make drums like this and uh, teach you how I made these drums so thanks for watching and I wish you the best of luck with your drum building projects